Hello everyone, welcome to Vino classes. I am Utkarsh and I'm uh, and today I'm going to discuss about the chapter polynomials. Okay, so let's see what we are going to learn in our today's session. So yes, so in our today's session, we will learn about the polynomials, right? So now in the polynomials, uh, the topic that we are going to cover in our today's session is the combination of variable and constant, polynomials and non-polynomials, degree of a polynomial, types of polynomial and value of a polynomial, okay? So now we are going to start with the first topic that is the combination of variable and constant. So now, whenever I say that the combination of variable and constant, what does it mean? So variable means any English alphabet, I say the variables, then variables means what? Variable is represented by the English alphabets, okay? English alphabets. Now, thereafter, I'm saying constant means constant is represented by the numbers, right? Constant are nothing but the numbers, okay? Whenever I'm saying constant means numbers. Now, so whenever we connect a variable and constant, then we require any operator right now what are the operators that we learn are plus minus multiply so this multiply is uh like this right uh not cross uh, it would be cross not the asterisk right so we will represent it by multiplication and division these are the four operations basic operations that we do right now with these operators we can make the combination of variable and constant right so now let's see some of the combinations let's say i am writing x plus 5 okay this is one of the combination of variable and constant connected with the plus sign another uh another combination is x by 2 plus x by 3 plus 5 right now this can be further solved okay but this is also a combination right now, another combination that I wanted to take is, let's say, 1 by x plus 3, okay? Now, another combination is, let's say, root of y plus 5, okay? Now, so these are the combinations, right? Now, the question is, what does it uh, called? Means, what we can say about the combination of variable and constant? Are, uh, are these the polynomials? That x plus 5, x by 2 plus x by 3 plus 5, 1 by x plus 3 and root y plus 5? So the answer is no. These all are not the polynomials, right? But they have something common in, in all of them. That is, they all are the combination of variable and constant, right? So they're what we will call them, we will call them algebraic expression, okay? The first thing that uh, we have got. Uh, the idea about is the algebraic expression. So whenever I'll ask that what is the algebraic expression, you can easily say uh, that it is a combination of variable and constant, right? Now, after that, uh, after that, uh, talking about uh, the degree of the polynomial, the next thing is the degree of the polynomial. Now, what is the meaning of the degree of the polynomial? Wait for a moment. Wait. Now, now the next topic is the classification of algebraic expression. Now, what is the classification for the algebraic expression? We have seen the uh, algebraic expression is uh, nothing but the combination of variable and constant. Now, it can be further classified into polynomials. And the second one is non-polynomials, right? Now, for the polynomials and non-polynomials, what are the conditions to be satisfied? See, if any expression is not a polynomial, then it will come under non-polynomials, okay? Now, for this, we will say that for the polynomials, there are three conditions in which the most important condition is regarding the exponent of variable, okay? Now, in the in the in any expression, if the exponent of variable is a whole number, is a whole number, then that expression will be a that expression will be a uh, polynomial okay now for the whole number what does it mean whole number we all are aware of it whenever we say whole number so whole number includes the number from 0 1 2 3 4 up to infinite right all these counting numbers including 0 
are the whole numbers. Okay, so the exponent of variable must be a whole number. Now, I said that three conditions are there out of which the most important is regarding the exponent of variable. Now, the other conditions are what? That uh, the coefficients, coefficients of variable can be any real number. Okay, can be any real number. Any real number means except the number which are under root of negative. Okay, except these kind of number, all the numbers are, all the numbers are real numbers. Okay, now, now, the next is, the next condition is regarding the number of variables. Okay, regarding the number of variables. So, there is no limit on the number of variables. Okay, no limit on the number of variables okay now so these are the conditions now if these conditions are not satisfied then that uh, that expression will be a non polynomial okay so now the major difference will be again because of the exponent so we can say that exponent of variable is not a whole number not a whole number then that expression will not be a then that expression will not be a, a polynomial okay that is we will so, we'll uh, say it as non polynomial okay now let let me uh, tell you about some examples now what are the examples for the polynomial first for the polynomial it would be x plus 5 it would be x square minus 3 okay it can be x by uh, x by 9 only okay these are the polynomials okay now let me tell you about the non polynomials let's say i'm writing x power minus 1 plus 2 now x power minus 1 means what see it is nothing but 1 by x plus 2 so now we can uh, we can make it clear that if whenever we see whenever we see variables on the denominator then we can easily say that it is not a polynomial okay now the another thing another example is root of y plus 7 now root of y means it would be y power 1 by 2 plus 7. So again, now just observe their, observe their uh, exponent. So in the first example, it is minus 1. In the second example, it is 1 by 2. So neither one uh, minus 1 nor 1 by 2 are the whole number. That is why we will say that these are the non-polynomials. Okay. Okay. I hope it is clear. Now I'm moving forward with the next topic now up, uh, after that uh, classification of algebraic expression we are aware of the classification of algebraic expression the next thing that comes is the degree of the polynomial okay so now now let me write some more uh, some more polynomials now i'm writing some more polynomials like uh, y square plus y minus 1 now here if you'll see the exponent it is y square and then y power 1 so 2 and 1 both are the whole number okay now another example i am taking of the polynomial like uh, y power 4 minus 3 now the next example i am taking y power uh, let's say 2 plus y plus 1 again the same kind of example for the first one okay now uh, for the uh, further examples are what let's say it is y power 7 plus y power 6 okay now let me take one more example y square to the cube plus one okay now one more example i will take that is y plus two to the holy square now let me uh, uh, tell you about the x uh, degree of the polynomial okay now for the degree of polynomial we all uh, we will say that the highest exponent highest highest exponent of the variable in a polynomial whatever the exponents are there in for for diff uh, different different variables out of those, the highest exponent of the variable in that polynomial will be the degree of that polynomial. Okay. Now, so for example, for the first one, what is the degree? What will be the degree? Yes, you answered correctly. Degree would be 2. For the second one, what would be the degree? Again, very good. It would be 4. Okay. Now, the next degree, it would be how much? y square plus y plus 1. So, the uh, exponents are 2 and 1 out of which the highest is 2. Now, for the next one, degree will be how much? Degree will be 7. For the next one, it is y square to the cube plus 1. So, we will solve it first. Okay. We will get y power 6 because exponents are there. Okay. So, we will get for this, we will get degree as 6. Okay. 
now for the last one it is y plus 2 to the whole square now again we will have to solve it okay if you don't want to solve it then also you see inside uh, the bracket y is having exponent 1 if you take the square identity y power will be 2 so you can directly say degree will be 2 other than this you can solve it y square plus uh, 2 square it will be 4 plus 2 into y into 2 that would be 4y so in this case we can say the degree will be okay now again we are saying this these exponents are 2 and 1 so highest among them is 2 so the degree would be 2 okay now moving further after the degree of the polynomial it comes the types of polynomial okay now what types of polynomials means i'm going to discuss the uh, uh, uh the uh polynomials different different polynomials based on the terms and based on the degree okay that is why i, I discussed about the degree prior to the types of polynomial okay because I have, I have to tell you about the classification based on degree also okay now based on the number of terms means what see i am giving you some name there are polynomials which we will call as monomial in which we will uh, always whenever we see the uh, the polynomial having one term we will call it as monomial okay second is binomial means two terms two terms okay then third is trinomial means having three terms okay three terms now for the monomials we will say that uh, let's say the examples will be 3x okay now let me write it as y by 5 okay now here it is let's say x cube now all these are single term polynomials okay now if you see it is 3 into x means always we know that uh, the terms will be divided only because of plus and minus okay so it is 3x it is one term y by 5 one term x cube one term now for the binomial what will be the uh, what will be the uh, examples for binomial let's say i'm writing x plus 3 let me write it as x square plus 1. Let me write it as x power 5 plus x. Okay, so these are the binomial. For the three terms trinomial, it would be x square minus x plus 3. Let me write it as uh, y power 7 plus y plus 3. Okay, again. So these are the trinomials. Okay, now based on the degree. See, the degree can be how much? As I told you, the uh, exponent can be whole number. So it can be 0. So let me write it for you. The degree, if degree would be zero, what we will call it as? Yes, you answered correctly. It would be a constant polynomial. Constant polynomial. Now, why is it so? Why is it so? Because let's say I'm writing x power zero. Its value will be what? One. So when we are getting the constant number, that is why it is x power 0 is a 1 is a constant polynomial or x power 0 is a constant polynomial. Let's say I'm writing 3. So 3 can be written as 3x power 0. It is a constant polynomial. 5. It is a constant polynomial. 7. It is a constant polynomial. Minus 10. It is a constant polynomial. But 0 will not be a constant polynomial. Why? Because we can't write 0 as 0x power 0. It can be 0 into x power 1. It can be 0 into x power 2. It can be 0 into x power 3 so in that case in case of 0 we can't determine the exponent that is why we classify 0 as the another polynomial that is the 0 polynomial okay so the first one we have seen constant polynomial the second polynomial is 0 polynomial which is the 0 number itself now the third is if the degree is 1 okay if the degree is 1 the next one is degree is 2 then the next one is degree is 3 okay now let's see what are these polynomials when the degree is one we will name it as linear polynomial why i'm saying linear polynomial because whenever we will draw the graph of it we will get a straight line that is why linear then for the degree two it would be a quadratic quadratic polynomial okay now the next one is uh, degree three means it would be a cubic polynomial okay now please remember the name and take note of it also okay now this is about the uh, this is about the types of polynomial based on the terms and based on the degree also okay now now the next thing that we are going to discuss about is the value of polynomial okay now what is the value of polynomial 
now if i uh if i ask you how we can write the polynomial you all know right you have uh, you have learned it in the previous uh, classes also that p of x is equals to i will write x plus 5 right now whenever i say the value of polynomial means i mean that uh, the polynomial value at some specific uh, const uh, the value of that polynomial at some specific value of variable okay for example let's say i am asking find the value of find the value of px at x is equals to 2 now at x equals to 2 means it would be a p of 2 so we will get 2 plus 5 that would be 7 okay now if i give you another polynomial let's say it is a uh, uh, p of x is x cube minus x plus 3 so what we will get at uh, let's say at uh, x equals to minus 1 what we will get here uh, here we will do what we will find out the value of p of minus 1 we will write a, at x equals to minus 1 it means in place of x we will put minus 1 p of minus 1 equals to this will be minus 1 power 3 minus it would be a minus 1 plus 3 we will get how much minus 1 cube means it will be minus 1 minus of minus 1 plus 1 Plus three minus one plus one will be cancelled. We will get three. Okay, so now here we will say that p of x at x equals to minus one is three. Okay, that is p of minus one is three. I hope it is clear to all of you. Right now, for this value of polynomial, I will suggest you to do more and more questions. Okay, so that it would be easy for you to understand. Okay, so in this video, I wanted to discuss this much thing only because. Uh, uh my motto was to just give you the basic idea of the polynomials okay so for this video that's all okay so we'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care good night everyone